this crow is definitely a paid extra and also has been following me around for the past five minutes so I might accidentally have got a familiar I don't know hello there it is October 26th um, 2002 it's actually insane that the year is almost over it's only really just dawned on me that's well that's weird it has been like I think two months maybe since I like sat down and like spoke to the camera I don't know I can't remember I think I tried to in September but September was a month I will tell you that so much has happened um, I started my second year of university moved back to Cardiff and it's just been insane and hectic it's just been coursework and projects and loads of stuff I don't want to work on which is a shame I kind of came back into second year with full creative drive ready to make things and collaborate and write and the things that we're working on in our modules right now there's one module I'm really really enjoying but the other two are a bit like oh well this is destroying my creative motivation I don't care about this which is kind of sad I'm trying to be positive with it I'm trying to stick with it one of them is academic so like it is what it is you gotta you know it is uni after all but it does suck a bit when like you have loads of work to do and you're not excited for the kind of work and projects. All our modules are group work this term, which has been hard, like trying to get everyone's schedules and things done. Um, I'm on the committee for a society as well in my university, so I've been doing society stuff. So that's also been a lot. Um, I've just, yeah, I did a show for a friend. I've, I've just been doing a lot, like, the second I got back which has been weird because I kind of went from you know summer life being somewhat it was a little busy but it was busy in a good way it was like I was traveling or visiting people or, you know making things that I wanted to make but now it's like I don't know boring busy I guess it was his birthday yesterday that was fun had a bit of a celebration and I'm planning a murder mystery for this week uh, we're gonna do it on the Friday which will be fun um, it's a murder mystery I've done before. I did it for my 17th birthday. Um, I also did a murder mystery for my 19th birthday, the Wild West one. I'll put links up, which talks more about me doing murder mysteries and like it. Yeah, both murder mysteries I've talked about in that video. Um, but yeah, I have not run a murder mystery since the cowboy one. So, and I've done this one before, so like I know how to do it, but I think that's gonna be really fun just getting back into doing that. I don't have access to the ideal venue or catering like I did in the first time I did this murder mystery. So it's gonna be a little less immersive than I usually run them, but I think that's in a way gonna make it more funny and just have more of a fun laid back murder mystery that's, you know, for the vibes. Um, I can't do it. Becca, arrest her. Why would I do it? Nah, because I couldn't, I couldn't do the thing up. too late. The bit's dead now. Tara's taking any chance. Tara ran. She's practically sprinted. Ma'am. Ah, oh, there you go. I feel like you're doing this all too well, but I can't. Why? Because I've already tried this. What? <laughs> Check the cake. Oh god. <laughs> 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 Do you I'm like so it? Curse. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Lori made it. <laughs> we put all our love I'm into it. The right. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have icing, so we used dye. <laughs> we'll just treat food dye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not just like casual. Yeah. I'm accusing you, darling. Is it time for our 
our well, ending, our ending statements. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. It's in order of the numbers that you've got. So. <coughs> oh, is it? It is. I see. As I've already said, I did not <laughs> kill Lord Heathcliff. I was most upset he'd fired me, but I planned a rather amusing amount of tricks to play during my notice period, which <laughs> would have worked better had he been alive. If you don't believe me, ask the gardener. I was talking to her. Who's our time on this currently? I could not be here. I wipe my hands. So this you were nonsense. Oh, I am innocent. You are one. Who's, who's number two? Oh, wow. Who's Fuck yeah! Shit! No. Are you serious? No! no. I can't I'm believe you. I'm not using my phone! Shut up! Get the thing done. Well, I can't believe I'm even having to say this, but I've never killed my own husband. Sure, we had our differences, but newlyweds don't. If you think I was only out him for his money, you'd be wrong. I was actually out him for his lovely Maltese career. <clears throat> I fucking told you, but I put <laughs> my hands on that whether he's dead or alive. So move along. What? So I was right though, you were after the fucking meerkat. I said, <laughs> that, I said she was a thief and she I said and she was murdered if she was a thief. Oh right, well, anyway, so we were, we're all fucked. Hold up. Hang up. Wait. Lord Heathcliff I, I know. was an unenlightened, <laughs> narrow minded, mean spirited human being with no soul. You're gonna call him a horse. And he utterly deserved anything he got. That said, I am a pure, kind being who believes in non violence. Much as I forgot that coming out of my I thought I'd bring them all together for the final piece. <laughs> Much as I would have enjoyed hitting him over the head <laughs> with a candlestick, it wasn't me. I'm just glad that there's one less dark energy force in the universe. <laughs> and mopped up his spinaches, what did it matter that I squirreled away a silver spoon or a carriage clock here and there? Well, apparently it did matter, and he wasn't best pleased when he saw me, <laughs> saw what I was hiding in me drawers. <laughs> and, and yes, he fired me. But quite frankly, I'm happy. As long as I don't have to go back to jail, there's real criminals in there. And you still got your job, it's like, right. You whore. <laughs> She was right! Wait, wait. You wait. accused her of petting. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why did you kill my husband? That's what I Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Split bouncing. I'd like to thank you all for your cooperation tonight and for helping the police, i.e. me, with our inquiries. I have now gathered enough information to frame any one of you for this heinous murder. I just haven't decided who's going to take the fool yet. Suffice to say, when I report to my supers now that I've single-handedly solved a murder, it'll be bye-bye sleepy village and hello big grime-filled city. I'll be back doing real police work at the Met quicker than you can say let's be having you. Let's be having you. Of course, I have to thank Lord Heathcliff. If he hadn't recognised me as a strip at his bachelor party last month and then tried to blackmail me out of it, I'd never have had the uh, idea of killing him and using his murder to get my old job back. Funny how things work. Now. I want to try on these lovely shiny cufflinks, don't worry. It'll only get you about eight to ten years. I love that you accused her of pettiness. And you were right! I love that I've been showing you this card throughout the game. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> is particularly. Show the camera the what is the devil. The devil card! I thought I was being funny, just being like through the window, being like, <laughs> devil. See, as soon as you spoke, I I've been, knew I've it was been in service to Heathcliff my whole life. I no, it's no, not. No, listen. No, but listen. It listen. seems accurate, it seems fair, it seems perfectly cool. Well, I don't so know. of anyone and everyone I might take down can be the person that you lot didn't believe. And my darling, oh I'm my so god, sorry. it's fucking I'm so sorry. 
You know what? If you ever, if they ever do find out that this was all corrupt, I know a guy in prison named Jim. Come with and me. And then to tell everyone that you're a stripper. Come with me. <laughs> we should tell everyone that you're a stripper. <laughs> They're going to have sex in the sex corridor without us. <laughs> got a Halloween party to go to on Halloween. That's gonna be sick. Last Halloween I had an absolute blast, so I'm hoping to, to like, what's the word? Top that, upgrade that. You are getting so close, Mr. Crow. My friend Alden from LARP came to visit me and some friends who, some of my LARP friends live here in this area. I can't show you right now, but there's a, there's a squirrel right in front of me. Look at him. He's so friendly. Hey bud. Man wants a shout out. He wants that YouTube clout. Well that was neat. Got a little friend though. I've got you balanced on like the splitting out bark of a tree stump. It's so the weirdest tripod I think I've ever had. But yeah, my friend Alden came Alden, over to visit, so that was super fun. On the snail. Oh. Get on the snail. Get on the snail. <laughs> right, you're on the okay. snail, lass. Off to Bruno. <laughs> Seeing him in a non-LARP context, like hanging out with Alden and not Percy. Uh, again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do LARP, specifically this game called Empire that's run in the UK. I have a whole video on it. I won't go into it right now because this is not the video for LARP. But it was weird seeing him and not Percy. Um, a couple of us from LARP actually live in this area and we need to do a hangout soon. If any of you guys are watching this, we need to hang out. I miss you so much. It's six months until the next, six or five months now? I think it's five months now until the next Empire game. And it's, ah, withdrawals. Um, it's pretty sad, I'm missing my friends. Trying to get the guy out of trapped here now. Yeah. Oh, oh, clearly. <laughs> Hold on to me, Brick. <laughs> Hold on, Spider Monkey. <laughs> right, if you hold on to my neck, I can pick well. you up. <laughs> no, I can't. That was not me. That was not me. I have video evidence. There we go. I put you on my back anyway. Oh, God. Let's go. There we go. Whee! I'm finally <laughs> taller than you, numbnuts. <laughs> So that was like, that's a bunch of stuff that's been happening this month, October. Um, what happened in September was, I mean, I had Empire E4, which I am going to make a video on. I just have not had the time. Um, I went to Center Parks for a week with some friends, which was so nice. It was that's a really well nice done. getaway. Yay! Whoa, this one is pretty scary. What? You are. <laughs> what? Hey. Do the gritty. <laughs> And then straight after Empire and Center Parks, it was my last week at home before I had to go back to uni and I just got flung into everything. So it's just been, it's been good, but it's also just been very chaotic. Um, and then at the beginning of October, on top of all this, um, Chad passed away. He was actually scheduled to be put to sleep at the beginning of September because his health dipped and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to look after him after Joel and I both went to uni because my brother has started uni now as well. 
but then his health picked up again and we got really really excited and we were thinking oh it you know he's doing all right um, and then it dipped again and I had already moved to Cardiff and I got a text from my mum and dad saying hey tomorrow he's not doing well we need to put him to sleep he's in pain um, I got a train over to my aunt's house because that's where we've buried him if you know if you know my channel and especially if you've been watching for a while or if you're just a friend of mine I've you'll know that I've had Chad for a very long time and that I haven't lived without him before I've been to uni and not seen him for months and gone home and stuff um, so being at uni probably means it hasn't hit as hard as it will when I go home and I'm at home for the first time without him because I haven't been home since he passed um, it's been a rough couple of weeks uh, I was sort of prepared for it because again in September we thought we were going to have to put him down so I'd sort of done my grieving process a bit early um, but um, yeah things come to an end and it's not always a bad thing Chad was 18 and a half years old which is much longer than most Dashens live I was very grateful to have him as long as we did it's honestly been a bit of a hard month I've perked up a bit mentally this week so I'm trying to make the most of the last week of October because October is one of my favorite months and Halloween's coming up you can't be sad on Halloween it's illegal so I'm trying to make the most of this week um, in terms of vibes and festivities and hope that I can enter November with a bit more motivation and yeah you might be wondering Mickey what are you doing? Uh, I am ironing pillowcases we've got a dress rehearsal today for a 15 minute live performance assessment um, the next three days of my life are going to consist of rehearsing for this bad boy. Uh, we hate it. <laughs> it's been a process and a half making the show, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? You're under a This is a scratch performance, it's not even the big report. This uh, assessment is 20% of this module's grade, um, the big one when we do this show again, but with more, uh, will be in March. Are we prepared? No. Did we have money for actual props and costumes? No. This is why I'm ironing out bed sheets. Well, pillowcases. Uh, the pillowcases are fire. This is fire. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna bring you along to some, not today, not to class, uh, because the tutor probably wouldn't want me to film. None of these creases are coming out. I'm t is this even on? <laughs> I'm pressing buttons and nothing's buttoning. I'm going to bring you along because we are actually putting this performance on at an actual theatre, which is in Newport. It's not even in Cardiff, so we have to go out of town for it, which is pretty fancy. I'm not going to lie, it's a little fun, it's a little exciting. I've also got an essay to write, 2,500 words, which is not bad, but I've only got three weeks and I haven't started it. Um, and then I've got my audio production module, which is really fun, which we will hopefully be finishing next week, because that's also due next week. Um, my group is doing, I, well, hopefully it'll be on Mini Mink Films, the channel, my second channel, when it's done, depending on if I like it or not. Um, but that one's about zombies, and I'm pretty excited for that to be finished and to show people that. But let's just get this performance out of my hands first. We are the fire. <laughs> Here we go. Jack, eyes up. Eyes closed. Oh man. Oh, don't put it in kid. now. You were such a good kid. Don't, don't squint your eyes, that's gonna make the coin go into your eyes, you ballet. Man, he, even, he even shakes his eyes. There we go. I love that the performance Ooh. is two days away and we're doing it's some okay. very, pro some very productive. <laughs> He's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> So today is our first uh, rehearsal in the actual theatre that we're going to be performing the assessment in. 
um, so it is currently half eight in the morning and I'm about to go catch a train to Newport with my group. Look at the place we're so. ending up in, in Zans. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the ending, it's like Halligan. Yeah, like, I've grabbed this for years. Nicknames on the back, like, <laughs> yeah. I've grabbed I've always wanted to go to Penn Zans with a group of buddies. <laughs> Any town ever uh, like, yeah. Like, well, sorry, it's Newport's nice Christmas stuff. decorations too basic for you, I'm Becca. Right. It just um, makes yeah. me think of Swindon. It's it's the end of November. Oh God, a tragedy has happened. I'm obviously a child. That's my issue. No, no I have no issue with that. No. <laughs> no. This is a good sign. <laughs> but you know the weird thing is, he's out of proportion. That is not work. Oh, how dare they? The blood is like to the left. take over for the new artist segment. What's more important than a friend? Nothing. So grab your friend, keep them close, and here's my new song I wrote dedicated to my best buddy, Mr. Nipples. Oh, Mr. Nipples! Oh! Are you singing about the zombie we have trapped in the basement? I love you! He's the work here, Daryl. Guys, Mr. Nibbles, I die for you. His name was Dave. You're my best friend. And I do anything you want to. Oh you die, Why is but you're still, still, going? still here. Leyland. Yeah. Leyland. I love you so Leyland. much. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We have a caller coming in online too now, so what say you? I say, you're cute. No, you. Hello? Hello? Hello! And welcome back to this week's episode of Leland's Lazy Morning. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Hello again, it is the 28th of December and I have finished term one. It's uh, It's been a term. It has been a term. I knew that second year was going to be stressful but I didn't think it was going to be this stressful right off the bat. Um, our live show went well. We haven't got our grades back yet. We're getting them back soon but I hope we passed because I thought we did really well. All the things we were worried about uh, didn't happen and our show went fine so we better have passed. <laughs> Wrapped up uh, my audio project as well which is out now on Mini Mink Films, my second channel. Gonna, I'm sure I've linked it already but if not, links. Um, if you enjoy zombies and chaos and comedy, go check it out. Although comedy is subjective so it might just be cringe. Uh, so if you like cringe, also go check it out. <laughs> then I just had an essay to write and that melted my brain. 
that was painful but I wrote it and I finished it and I hope it passes I really hope it passes because ah it's been it's been a lot it's been a lot of group work which I've struggled with because of like trying to find times where people aren't doing other group things or aren't at work and stuff um, and it's just the load of work right off the bat has been a massive shock so um, I think I've got it under control <laughs> I'm gonna go into term two with a better idea of how much I should be balancing like uni and work and social life um, I, hopefully I'll enjoy term two more because I've got my chosen module coming which is all about short film filmmaking which I'm really excited to focus a little bit more on rather than like the live stuff that we've been doing a lot in like first year and, and stuff. Another thing I also wanted to talk to you guys about because I haven't really spoken about this like at all <laughs> in any of the other things I recorded for this video. This is Peter Collins's channel. Peter Collins is a friend of mine that I met on the set of a Master of Film Students uh, short film, I think it was like May earlier this year. Um, from meeting on that set, I went to do some voice acting work for him on his show, uh, Good Morning from Radio 6, which is available on like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all the places that like do podcasts it'll probably be on. Um, it's very good. I have to, I'm not just being biased because I'm in it. I'm in season two. I played Julia, which has been very fun. Although it's such a small role, I really enjoyed it. Um, and she's got some stuff coming up in season three, which I'm really excited to record with him. But yes, please go check that out. Go check out all his stuff. He's got a film, The Bending of the Whip, coming out very soon. So go check that out as well because he just makes really brilliant stuff. He's very fun to work with. Um, we also just became really good friends as well as working on each other's projects. I'm actually uh, going to be in a project next year, which is going to be quite big, which I can't talk about at the moment. Um, but I have to learn combat training for it, which is insane. Um, so I've just been learning combat training with him for like the past three months, which has been a blast. Um, I mean, besides the time when uh, he dislocated his knee um, during a combat lesson. But that's for another video. That's the story for another video for another time. But uh, yeah, that was not <laughs> fun. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of an ambulance shortage in, in Cardiff. Um, so word of warning, don't ever injure yourself. It's a nightmare trying to get to a &E, uh, especially when you're in agony. So uh, shout out to Peter for being an absolute trooper and bearing with me as I had to get him to hospital. <laughs> this term has been so stressful, man. I don't get a break. <laughs> Well, that's a lie. I've had a break now. I've had Christmas, which has been so good. The last like week or two of uni was also quite fun. Uh, I got to go to a first aid kit concert with Peter, which was incredible. Um, that was such a good concert and um, such a good time. I haven't been to a concert since I think the Halsey one I went to years ago. Um, so yeah, first concert in a while, so that was quite nice. Other than that, yeah, I've just had Christmas, which has been very relaxed, although it is our first Christmas without the man, the legend himself, and uh, you definitely felt that. <laughs> it was definitely different to a lot of Christmases, just not having him there when he's been in every Christmas I've ever had since I was two years old. 
I have Chad with 18 years old. Uh, I think I've said, I've said this a lot. I talk about him a lot. That's because this boy was my life. <laughs> Cry break. <laughs> but besides that, it's been so good just coming home, celebrating Christmas, seeing family, seeing friends um, that live here who I get, don't get to see when I'm in Cardiff. It's been so good. Everything finally slowing down. I have time to make this video. I have time to make Empire stuff. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been good. Um, I'm very excited for next year because this year has been incredible. I traveled so much this year. Granted, it was all around the UK. It was, you know, it wasn't international, but I explored so much of England and Wales that I hadn't seen before. Um, and I really just, I had so many little adventures this year that I'm so grateful for because that's what I really wanted this time last year. I just wanted to get out and explore and I did that and I'm so pleased that I got to do that and I had the opportunity and the privilege to do that. Um, next year, I'm probably gonna have to really, uh, I'm trying to focus on my career stuff and like perfecting my craft and you know, producing stuff I'm really proud of and really wanna show people. Um, and also just going to more LARP events, you know, more Empire, <laughs> more exploring, because why not? Hopefully the career and the exploring can go hand in hand, and I can go to places because of work. That'd be great. That's the dream right there. But yeah, um, I'm excited for the new year. I'm excited for term two. I think it will be a bit better. I hope so. Anyway, so here's to the new year. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye-bye. Yeah.